are back before my southern home and I'm here with Daniel Woods with the Addison Group and Chris Harrington with H2L Outdoor Solutions. And Daniel and Chris, this is such a fantastic area that you brought us to today. And Daniel, you were telling me that the homeowner loves to entertain and there's a beautiful story behind this property. Yeah, this one was a fun one. Uh, you know, so we're in great Shelbyville, Tennessee, which is, you know, the Tennessee walk, walking horse capital of the world. Um, and so the homeowners are uh, actually grew up here uh, and literally across the street. So this is a, a farm that they purchased about 15 years ago and built this gorgeous house that sits up on a hilltop and you can see forever and just see the rolling hills of Middle Tennessee. And so, you know, we were really tasked with just trying to complement the house and, uh, and make it come to life and kind of be that last layer of aesthetics. Well, one of the things I like having you on the show so much, Daniel, is you bring in teams of people to help you create this beautiful space. So you're brought in in the beginning to make the lay of the land, so to speak, and then you bring in professionals like Chris to make it come to life. Yeah, so uh, that's a great point. So we come in on the early part and, and we get to do what I consider more of the easy part, right? We're designing on paper, but these guys at H2L are the ones that really bring it all together. And so they've been out here for, for months, uh, going into years almost, of, of trying to bring this whole thing together, make sure that the planting is, is top quality and that the, the materials are doing what it's supposed to do, contrasting and texture and, and the right color changes throughout the year. So it doesn't really happen without them executing the way they have. So Chris, you have done most of the hard lifting here once Daniel gives it to you. So what are we seeing here today in the space? So uh, the, the features, the patio that we're standing on, and obviously that was the, the most heavy lifting that we had to do. Uh, and with a lot of help from the homeowner and picking out the, the uh, finishes and the colors and everything that you see. Um, so that was, that was the biggest part of it. And then of course, all the plant material around the house and adjustments to the irrigation and, and sodding the lawn and just kind of painting everything green on our way out. So the before and after pictures of this space, Chris, is pretty amazing and color was really important to the homeowner and with entertaining a lot, she wanted to be able to go out and pick a bouquet of flowers within 30 minutes notice and that was really important when you guys were designing what type of flowers to have in the space. Yes, ma'am, and that's uh, Daniel worked with them on the front end to come up with the different varieties and everything, and then we just make sure we pick out quality material. And you know, Daniel does, does a lot of the work in layering it and, and getting what the homeowner wants for the bouquets and everything. And we mostly just show up and dig the holes. <laughs> well, I give you more credit to Chris than what he's given himself too, because you know a lot of it is is having to make calls in the field and working with the homeowners to try to get that good mix, and so there's only so much we can do on paper and a lot of it is just really digging into it and going okay what would look best right here and what color balance would you like to see in this area with the, the house as a backdrop and these certain plants as a backdrop so there's a lot of work on the implementation side to make it all come together well and when you're working with professionals like both of you who work together to create a space like this there's a lot of things that change throughout the design process because on paper you can only do so much but when you're out here working you can tell that the shading is not what you thought it was so this plant might not work here. Yeah I think that's exactly right so you're dealing with a, a 360 degree view here which is gorgeous there's so there are views off of every side of this hills, hilltop which is amazing but you're also dealing with sun angles of all different kinds as well uh, on top of that you've got roof heights you have to deal with and so um, it, it's it, some of it works out on paper, but some of it is, is more of just kind of um, seeing it in person and going, you know, I think what would work best is this. And so that combined with working with the homeowner to make sure that their vision is, is fulfilled, is uh, it's kind of a back and forth. It's a process we love for sure. And Chris, this project was layers for you and your team. So we're in the outdoor living area right now, but she has a beautiful front entryway that you guys helped work on as well. Yes, ma'am, we, we, uh, we actually just did the entryway maybe a few months ago, uh, put a stone border around it. Uh, it was the same as the house, a lot of older material kind of grown up and swallowing the, the beautiful stone walls that they have at the entrance. So we removed all the old stuff and went in with some new lower stuff, again, layering some colors and, and having it where they can see the walls that, that had been swallowed. Well, Daniel, when you talk about collaborating on the field, their guest barn area that they use for entertaining a lot is a perfect example in this home, how you guys work together with the homeowner to create something spectacular. Uh, 
I thought it turned out great, and, and I can't take a lot of the credit for it, to be honest, but uh, I'm excited and proud that I was a part of that process. We were a part of it early on in sort of conceptual phase, but really the way it got implemented was just uh, the, the homeowner and, and these guys at H2L working together to say, what would look best in this space by actually standing there and going, let's try this, let's try this. It's more of a trial and error kind of thing, and, but sometimes that's the best way to do it. It's just everybody communicating properly and having the same goal in mind. But credit to these guys, it, it, as you'll see, it looks gorgeous. Well, when you talk about communication and having the same goal in mind, that's really important to the homeowner being happy with the outcome of their outdoor living area. Yeah, I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's what we're tasked with, right? It's not a design, what would I think would look best? What do what I want to design for me? It's how do we implement those clients' hopes and dreams and desires? And so uh, taking the, the knowledge that we have and the desires that they have and the construction knowledge that these guys have, that collaboration is really what brings a really good project together. And it's all about open communication. And so we're, we're just, we're so lucky to have great clients and, and great guys like this to collaborate with. All right, well, thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. We'll be back with more My Southern Home in just a moment.